Oh, well, I haven't been recording a lot of footage because this week at work has been crazy, but I wanted to catch you up. I had this idea and thought that there are seasons where it's easier to stretch, where it's easier to push to that next level. I think right now, it's easier for a lot of people. Working out is a distraction. Create a new normal and go after it. This is the Stinson. So let me set you up because I'm warming up. The Stinson has started. You don't train for a marathon, you just run it. I could run a marathon anytime I wanted to. <sighs> so like tomorrow, you think you could wake up, roll out of bed, and just run the New York City Marathon? Absolutely. Here's how you run a marathon. Step one, you start running. There is no step two. It's just about accepting the challenge. We have a quote, you can't one-up a one-upper. Last week, my wife called me out. I ran up and down the parking garage steps 27 times. Yep, that's it. Her and her friend came and did it 30 times. And she definitely one up to me. So let's get after it. I got a buddy with me today, Maddox, my youngest. And Maddox just said, Dad, how many have you done? Ooh. Currently finishing up four, almost to the top. The next statement that he said is I think the struggle that most of us have. He said, Dad, you've only got 26 more to go. I think a lot of times we look at that number and we don't know how to break that number down. We don't know how to make it edible, right? We don't know how to get abs. I'm not gonna punish myself with my diet and my working out. But that's the only way I'm gonna get it. One of the things that I have tried to do very well is try to break down the problem and think it backwards. Reverse engineering. I think that's the key to any of your goals. It's reverse engineering. It says, I've gotta do 30. Well, what can I see myself doing? I know I can do 10. So currently in this moment, I'm only counting to 10. It's just an easier number for me to digest. It's the way I've reverse engineered this. So, whatever challenge you're in, whatever struggle you're in, whatever life is throwing at you, whatever hardship, think it backwards. Oh, hey, if you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would. Join our journey. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is the finish of 15. 15? Yeah, so we're halfway there. One hour and 15 minutes. This looks like this uh, adventure is going to take two hours and 30 minutes. Unless I figure out some way to get some energy. One hour, 56 minutes. Because currently at this moment, this is sucking. This is not easy. Two hours in uh, on a keto diet, no carbs. If you've ever done that and, and exercise, you know you've only got about 30 minutes to an hour until you reach a depletion that can be sometimes very difficult to get back from. And uh, I'm way past that point, so. Here's the winner today. Yeah, dad climbed 30 times, but son, you've been riding for two hours and 30 minutes up this parking garage on this mountain bike he's been carrying my camera supplying me water bottles and uh dude you should be very proud it's a hard challenge uh, how many miles have you rode 24. <laughs> holy crap he rode 24 miles in this dang parking garage i've done 10 miles running and he's done 24. outstanding work young man thank you it's a big deal yeah not easy. High five on it. Let's finish this off. I'll see you at the bottom. Be careful, okay? Okay, see ya. He hadn't complained one time. He's actually enjoyed it. It's, oh man. Forget me doing 30, 30 stairs. It's, it's no big deal. 
I'm an idiot. I'll do these types of crazy things. But that young man being up here with me, helping me, it's a real big deal. The last time out this freaking door. It could probably be deceiving from the camera. Yes, I went up and down that right there 30 times. Uh, distance was 10.29. It's hard, really hard. Was there any reason to do it? No. But Barney Stinson took on the challenge. This video is called The Stinson and there's no reason for Barney to run and there's no reason for me to do this. It's just, like I said in the last video, I love challenges. So this week is The Stinson and it's about challenges. It's about accepting the challenge and taking it on. So a guy that's been motivating me, putting out some amazing workouts, his name's Buck, but he posted a video just a little bit ago about a Tabata workout. I think that's how you say it. And well, let, let, let him tell you about it. Got a great Tabata workout for you today. Tabata is a very effective and efficient way to train if done with the right intensity. We're going 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds all in on a movement. So we're gonna hit failure on that body part. It's gonna get spicy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's gonna elicit a really great response for the body. Okay, so that's the workout. Here we go. Definitely gonna take these rests serious. Those push ups are gonna suck. Okay, well, I finished Buck's workout. I've done a lot today, but the Stinson is all about accepting the challenge. Remember, Buck says I'll be happy with the results I get from the effort I put in, and put in everything. Uh, just don't put in food before you do this workout. On to the next challenge. Another 50. That's 70 today. Holy crap, 70 push-ups today. Uh, He's done the past two days. Wow. William did push-ups, so I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 10, right? Yeah. You know, this week is the Stinson video and it's doing the workouts and it's accepting the challenge that comes ahead. And and there have been a lot of challenges this week. I've, I've take all that and let, let's go to the board. So this week on my social media, I asked people if they wanted to get in um, and just people that follow me. Um, you can follow me. This is my tag right there. But these are the ones that are important to me at this moment. So Lucas is working from home. Uh, Derek is one of our field technicians and Owen as well. And these guys are not in the office all the time. And this is this is like a huge win for me. And the reason why I, I, it's a huge win to, for me is because these guys are not here at the office. They're, they're, it's not easy for them to come over and do pull-ups. They're out at a job site or out in a van and they're having to commit to wherever they're at to get it in. And that's a big deal. I think when it's easy or convenient to be a part of the fun, that's one thing. But when you're having to make a conscious decision to, you know what, wherever I'm at, if I'm at work um, and I'm the only one doing it, because it's not like, hey, everybody at work is going to do the pull-up bar, let's join in. Because that has, at work right now, if you're not a part of the challenge, you're kind of the one out of the, the deal. But these guys are in trucks. They, they service our area, they service our city. They come in a little bit, but they're not here all the time. And they're getting a part of it. And that to me is a big win. That to me is like the most important thing is allowing people, no matter where they're at, to get in and that they wanna get in. So 
man, this week has been tough. It has done a lot of challenges. Um, and I've paid the price. I haven't eaten like I should, but I've also burned the candle at every end. Um, and so we'll stay at it. We'll keep going. Uh, very excited for the next week's video because I'm capturing some footage tomorrow and it's going to be good.